state of Florida, we have to take care of all of our kids. But we are doing the right thing for kids. Welcome back to Children's Week headquarters as we count down the time until Children's Week 2012. And that time is finally here. Children's Week 2012 this year will take place starting January 29th through February 3rd. All that time, there will be events happening that you and your family can participate in to learn about Florida's government and how it works. It's now time for our weekly interview segment and for our final update, we will be speaking with the Commissioner of Education, Gerard Robinson. Mr. Commissioner, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. How excited is the DOE about participating in Children's Week? We're very excited. Um, I have an opportunity to serve on the uh, Children and Youth Cabinet, and uh, I made note that when we have a Children's Week here in Tallahassee, that I wanted to make sure that we not only involve DOE in ways that we have for the past two or three years, but also to make sure that our staff is involved, that we're interacting with the children. Uh, we're a Department of Education focused on the importance of preparing the next generation of leaders and being able to start with children is a uh, first start. I know the Department of Education has been involved for a long time with Children's Week. How has your involvement grown over the years? Well, it's grown because DOE has spent more time and, and resources working in partnership with the Florida Education Foundation to make sure that we have the right people in the right place to support Children's Week, but also to make sure we provide follow-up where necessary. So this has been a, uh, a grassroots effort that's actually become much more institutionalized at DOE and just glad to be able to support it this year as well. All right, now I know you're familiar with the hanging of the hands display, and we are the proud sponsor of that part of Children's Week here at Association Internet Video. But I want to ask you, what do you think about that display? It's amazing with all those hands, huh? Well, there was a presentation at the Children and Youth Cabinet meeting where they just showed a picture of the, uh, the hands displayed in the Capitol. And so I made a recommendation to the chair and to those uh, members present that we actually have the hands displayed here at the Department of Education. So uh, it's the first time we'll have it, and uh, it'll be a great display of the great artwork. Uh, of the students, but more importantly, putting out a message of the importance of children and the role that we as caring adults can provide to their education. Moving on to education here, how important is this week involving children and teaching them about civics? Well, the legislature a few years ago uh, enacted Senate Bill 4, which provides an end-of-course exam for civics. Uh, I can think of few courses that are important as civics for two reasons. Number one, to tell young people uh, early on how important it is to be involved uh, in the process of government. Uh, whether you're of age to vote or not, uh, you can still participate in uh, government through student body uh, elections, through uh, activities in your local community. For those who are old enough to vote, uh, being involved in the process is important. But the legislature thought it was important enough to have uh, a new law, and as DOE, we think it's important enough to uh, support it by making sure that uh, some of the leaders in DOE are involved with showing them how civics uh, are in action, particularly as it relates to education. Okay, uh, we're all out of time here, but we want to give you an opportunity. Anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Commissioner? Sure. Well, on behalf of the Department of Education and Department of Education's Foundation, I want to encourage all uh, adults, whether you have children in school or out of school, uh, no matter what walk of life, to take an opportunity to celebrate Children's Week. Uh, it's really a slice of time for us to show how we can invest uh, in capital and other resources into the lives of young people, because children really are our future, and one way that we can actually uh, celebrate that is by dedicating at least a week to children's issues, both education, economic, and social. And by doing that, I think we'll have a, uh, a stronger cadre of young people who will be able to take over the reins of government uh, in the not-too-distant future. All right, Education Commissioner Gerard Robinson, thank you so much for joining us. All right, thank you. So that is going to wrap it up. Pack your bags and head up to Tallahassee. All of the excitement starts January 29th, but come up for the entire week or any part of it. Here is another look at some of the exciting things that go on during Children's Week. Sunday, January 29th, 2012 from 1230 to 4, in the Capitol Rotunda, hundreds of volunteers from across the state will hang over 100,000 paper cutouts of children's hands. You're looking at footage now from last year's exciting endeavor. How about the Children's Week Community Innovation Awards Luncheon presented by the United Way of Florida and Whole Child of Florida? This is going to happen Monday, January 30th from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the University Center Club. Policy members, elected officials, and community leaders will come together to recognize collaborative efforts in communities statewide. 
And then the advocacy dinner and reception, Monday, January 30th from 5 to 8 p.m., again at the University Center Club, and this is always a really special night. More than 350 Children's Week partners, advocates, policymakers, and elected officials attend a networking dinner and reception. The winner of the 2011 Child's Advocacy Award will be announced. And here we go with the big stuff, folks. Children's Capital for a Day, presented by Comcast. Comcast, always a great sponsor of this event, and this day is always one to remember. Tuesday, January 31st, 2012, from 10 to 3 p.m., more than 80 interactive, non-profit children's activities booths are set up throughout the Capitol Courtyard to provide interactive activities and information regarding children's programs in Florida. It starts with the Children's Week press conference and Hanging of the Hands dedication ceremony. This happens at noon, State Capitol Courtyard. The Hanging of the Hands artwork display will be dedicated to the 2012 Florida Legislature. The official Children's Capital for a Day will be announced. Don't forget about the Legislative Reading Corner presented by the Pearson Foundation. This is happening January 31st, the big day, Tuesday from 11 to 3. Dozens of Florida legislators will read to children throughout the day. Now here's exciting stuff. The Pearson Foundation will provide free books to all children that participate. 